What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another awesome episode of What Are They Cooking? This series where we take a look at whatever epic shit is going on in the replays submitted by the audience. As always, if you in the audience have a replay that you want to see, um, just put it in the Discord in the description in the Edison Format Replays channel. Now, getting started today, we have 60-card Magical Merchant Monster Mash. Exactly what we're here to see, right? Exactly what we're here to see, and we're going up against looks to be some kind of disaster dragon list, um, or or if you're you're weird like me, you call it Dragro. I think it's a funny name. I think it's a funny name. Other people don't like it though. Um, then again, we really shouldn't trust other people because the Edison community has been calling this deck like what have they even been calling it? Like trap dragons or flip dragons? It's just like the dumbest shit names you've ever heard. Like, every deck plays trap cards, and, like, a billion decks play Raikou. That doesn't make it flip dragons. Or All right, we don't need to go on the name tangent here. We're going to hit into a Magical Merchant, which uh, actually only mills, like... Oh, I guess this isn't Monster Mash. I assume this was Monster Mash, but apparently not. Apparently it's just 60-card Merchant Pile. I can get behind that. I can definitely get behind that, but the Drago is going to be an issue. Uh, however, the Drago on the field means they can't use the Future Fusion. But we're going to book it so we can drop Dad. Which, uh, yeah, we have exactly three darks somehow. We just, like, milled the three darks. We're, just, we're that good. All right, Charge of Light Brigade going to be used now. Get Alila. Probably going to go for some kind of Lumina pitch the Necro Garden. No, we're going to go Greffer pitch the Necro Garden instead. To send a Vayu. Are we using Burial right now? Okay, we are using Burial right now. Hmm, alright, so we're just gonna kill everything with Dark Armed, and then summon uh, Armed Wing and just, like, attack. Obviously, we assume this deck doesn't play Gores. No version of Trap Dragons plays Gores. Um, Future Fusion, though, that's an issue. They're gonna summon a bunch of things, and we need to out said things. Hmm, we have one Dark. If we draw another Dark with Greffer on the field, though? Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, wait. No, what are we doing? Shouldn't we have, like, set this and popped it with the Dark Armed and then and then put everything back to deck? Or, or return all the banished cards to the graveyard? And then just, like, kill everything? Shouldn't we have done that? Okay, well, we're just gonna crash it. Well, we could have just won. We could have just won if we had, like, used the Dad Pop on our own Doomsday Horror, right? That would work. This card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Return all... Banish darks to the grave. So we'd put a put back like six things, then we just kill everything and we win. But now they get another turn. I mean, we wipe out everything, so it's like they probably lose, but yeah, all right. Well, it doesn't matter. The opponent can't do anything. They are out of gas. On to game number two. Doomsday Horror is funny. It's like a... I don't know. It's kind of like this card in Miracle Dig or like the whack burials that Vayu can try to exploit. But uh, generally not worth it, I guess. Uh, we're going to set Magical Merchant. Merchant will go off. We mill a wolf this time. And we get a Foolish Burial, so that's a pretty good Magical Merchant. But, oh yeah, the wolf doesn't work, though. We're under we're under Drago. Um, we could have booked the Drago. No, we can't do it in Damage Step, though. But we could do it here to, like, Foolish a uh, wolf if we want. Do we have another wolf? I assume we're playing multiple wolf. We're just going to send a Gardner, though. We could always just try to out this with with um Gale. I don't know why we didn't just do that, honestly. Like a 950 attack Drago, even if they de-prison our Gale, is not very threatening. Are we going for Black Rose? We are. We use the friggin' Vayu just so we can special the Gale and summon Black Rose. I guess it doesn't matter, because if this Doomsday Horror gets killed, then everything just goes back. Like, they just... Okay, first of all, we should have chained Necro Gardener there. Um, it doesn't matter, because they're not going to normal summon, I guess, but... All we need is for Doomsday Horror to die, and everything goes back. The Soul Release gets completely undone. The Vayu goes back. So the Doomsday Horror is going to go off. Very funny. Put back all of our resources. We're just going to use the Necro Garden, and now they're going to bring back a Wyvern, and they let the Drago die. Interesting. I don't know why they did that. Because, obviously, now we can just... We're, oh, they wanted their, their five head. Yeah, but that means we can, like, play the game and stuff. Shouldn't you be scared of that? I'm not sure. They're going for brain control. 
They switch. Are, are you going for game or aren't you? Or are, are you going for game or are you playing around Mirror Force in a, against a 60 card deck? Is this really what's happening right now? Oh, well. Oh, well. I mean, we weren't going to kill anyway, I think, because of the Book of Moon. Which we probably could have just booked our own Armor Master there to stop the brain control. And then it would be like an invincible Armor Master because it gets a reset. Oh, well. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. They're... They're going for something. They're tribute someone White Knight. And, um, yeah, we're just dead there. If we had booked our own Armor Master, that wouldn't have happened, by the way. Would not have happened. Big throw. What can I say? How do we keep drawing Dark Arm? <laughs> it's 60 cards. It's 60 cards, man. How does he keep drawing Future Fusion? Bro. All right, well, we're just summoning everything. I mean... When you got this much stuff, you might as well, honestly. We're stacking for Plague 2. We just have lethal. We just, like, straight up... Wow. Wow is right, man. Wait. Did we miss lethal here? No, this has to be it, right? Wait, wait are we 100 short? Hold on. I gotta do the math. 36. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we're, like, way over. We're way over. It doesn't matter what we made. Okay. Well, we... That, that was a game. That was a match. Cool always fun to see 60 cards i used to have a whole 60 card series it's one of my favorite things um but we we discontinued that because it's just too bad it's just too bad but like you know still cool still based next up we have a match from rbt which is uh roids versus machine noop of machina <laughs> i had to pull this one this is just so cool it's like so rare that people bring interesting decks to tournaments especially online i don't know people are like a lot People are a lot less creative in online events, I've noticed, but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's so rare to see it, and to see a matchup between two based decks, you gotta you gotta love it, you gotta love it. Uh, so the opponent going for the Machine Dupe Cyber Valley here. It would suck if we had Torrential, but we don't. Um, they're gonna draw two, set Judgment, set Torrential. Alright, we're playing the Armored Unit. This thing just like searches one when someone is destroyed, or no, yeah, it specials one from the deck. That has the same attribute and less attack. It's like some whack trans modify thing. Huh. Okay. The opponent's just gonna do nothing. Why would you do nothing? Oh, I guess because the Fortress Dragon's gonna come down and nuke our own board. Now we're summoning the Express Roid, though. Or, yeah, Express Roid adds back two armor roids, which is just like two more Machina Fortresses that we could summon at any point here. Um, I don't know. I don't really think we should be playing Starlight Road in this deck, honestly. What's it for? What do you need to protect with Starlight Road? The opponent just summoned Triple Fortress. They're just like, I bet that back row is some useless Starlight Road, and then it was. And then it was. Wow. They just went all in with Triple Fortress in one. That's rough. Okay. Game. What is our hand? <laughs> Scrap Recycler is in here? We're going to use it to send... What is their hand? They're on Raigeki Breaks. Okay, they're just going to go set three, end phase dust tornado, pick off the pulling the rug. We summon Steamroid. That eats a torrential tribute, but we have my body as a shield. Also known as a better card than Starlight Road, by the way. Um, so we're going to attack in. And they're going to summon Kreb... Wait, they're on Krebons? What kind of whack-ass machine dupe build is this? Okay, Eltonin. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed. Steamroid just going to force them to pay 8. Are we just going to keep making them pay 8? Apparently we are. Only, only what, 5 more turns of this? Okay, okay, now it's halved because we got the card trooper. Uh, Alright, we're going to hit in. They're just paying 8. They're just content to pay 8. They're going to try to hit over our guy. They're going to battle step Typhoon, our Machina armored unit. Unfortunately, we're not going to see that go off. Now we're going to bring out a fortress... We're going to hit in. They're just going to keep paying eight. At least Raigeki break this thing. Okay, nice, nice. It's gone. It's dead. We summon the Machina gear frame at another fortress. And the opponent's going to go ahead and bring back fortress. Synchro for Gotham's. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right. You're, you're, you're pretty cool, my guy. You put Gotham's in your extra deck. <laughs> Yo, level two tuner plus fortress. It's Gotham's. It's, all right. It's just like a 31 guy, and if you want, you can tribute himself to rip a cart. <laughs> We're not going to do that, though. Now the Scrap Recycler are going to start paying dividends here. We get a free draw. We draw into Limiter Removal. We go Fortress Dragon, get rid of the guy, and Special Out Machina Fortress. Whew. This would be bad. Eh. 
even if they have something we can call all right we're just gonna limit her for game limit her for game that's gonna do it moving on to game number three and the opponent has opened a machine dupe cyber valley they're a god they're going to draw two all right they're just like plus one for no reason we summon scrap recycler just gonna hit into the cyber valley do we set one we do opponent's gonna go ahead they got a cyber dragon man the cyber dragons have got to go crazy in this this stupid machine mirror all right he hits over the scrap recycler we're definitely down bad on it we're we're not in a good spot we're gonna try to hit over with the steamroid it's gonna work okay that's decent end phase regeki break picks off our mst they draw into judgment they're gonna bring out a fortress now machine dupe again um wait 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 I'm pretty sure that we just screwed up here because Machine Dupe still goes off even if the target is flipped face down or leaves the field, right? I'm pretty sure it's like that in Edison format. All right, I've double-checked. I've confirmed that, in fact, Machine Duplication should still resolve in this instance. So we kind of messed up the game state there a little bit. Um, I know it can be confusing because I, I think it might just work that way in older formats. I don't know if Machine Dupe still would work that way with modern rulings i'd have to check sometimes things are just different for no reason because uh back in the day we really didn't have normalization of rulings across the board everything just worked however you know whatever judge was at that regional said it worked um pretty weird time but we're gonna stay alive here through the limiter removal by call the haunting back the machina fortress which is then going to result in our field getting wiped because we used limiter removal and we weren't able to hit lethal the opponent is now up like four cards on us it's pretty bad they storm our back row they can't kill us though because they can only drop one fortress however we are going to get really low we are going to get really low and we're down super bad super low on cards here um we set the dyna but that's only really going to take care of the gear frame let's see what can we even do we summon oh crap if they judgment our gear frame we just kill them with cyber dragon because the other back row don't do anything Oh, not like this, man. Oh, man. That can't be how it ends. That's actually how it ends. Next match we got is Zuxid's Montage Dragon List. I know I showed this deck one time before, but I figured we could give it another another one because it was super brief. It was super brief because this is what happens. All right? They go Witch, Gallus, and then they just drop a freaking, uh, uh, what, uh, like an 8,000 attack Montage Dragon, and they attack for game, and that's just how Montage Gaming goes. That's just how it goes. So, end like that. Game one is over. Okay. All right. Let's see if Blackwing player can come. Oh my God. We opened Broken again. We opened just Witch Gallus twice. However, the opponent does have Starlight Road this time and Book of Moon. So, this play is super not going through. Um, Yeah, they actually opened the nuts. They opened Whirlwind Shura and like two back row. I don't see how we're winning this one. They can just kill us, surely, right? Yeah. There's like no feasible way we survive here right hold on five thousand see oh no 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 yes no yes yes they definitely kill us with kalut wait 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 did they forget to okay okay it's fine it's fine we didn't have fader or anything to keep ourselves alive there so a bit rough game three we opened witch into fortress yeah this hand's not fantastic they opened whirlwind again what a sacker what an absolute sacker what can we do we're just gonna have to like drop fortress but our fortress is going to get bottomless. Are we going to have to summon the samurai? I think we have to summon the samurai. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. How big is this? We can summon a, a 9k montage dragon? Bro. <laughs> Dude, Machina Fortress just crashes with the Stardust, takes out this thing, and then we attack for 8,000. Wait, why is this thing only at 78? Oh, okay, we pitched the fortress to someone, then we revived the fortress. Is that what we had to do? Or it doesn't matter, because we have 8k exact either way. And they're under Cold Wave, so they can't even do anything about it. That's so funny. That's so... Or they're on Sasuke, which is basically Cold Wave. Wow. <laughs> That's Montage Dragon, folks. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Okay, final match. We have another Meadowlands one. I think there was some tournament, and, like, two people submitted replays, so I wanted to include this one as well. But I didn't want to overload you with the Meadowlands content in one episode. Uh, although people did react positively um, to that uh, format. So we got Chaos Dragons up against Mermail. Significantly more interesting matchup, I think, than 
than the last one, which was Infernities versus Dino Rabbits. So a lot of are going to take out the back row, but of course it's just that Abyss Sphere, which is going to be chained into the Abyss Linda, which is going to float into this dude that pitches to search, and then what we pitch whatever this one, Abyss Gunda, and we get another one? Is that what we did? And then that's going to bring back the Abyss Linda. And then we end phase mill three. We hit a Wyvern, which is funny. Got Eclipse Wyvern? Would be... <laughs> Imagine that card in Edison. It would be so not okay. It would be insanely not okay. Um, all right. So they're beaten in for a bunch. Good thing about this matchup is we don't play a lot of stuff that just gets picked off by the dudes, but um, by like the the ones where you pitch and they or you pitch and they just take out. They're like spot removal. So we go to Abyss Sprite here, which I don't even remember what the hell that card does. Oh no, wait. We get it off the Bahamut Shark. Okay. And then we go Zen Main. Zen Main's really good in this time period. I remember that card in, like, 2012 was just, like, completely ubiquitous, completely nuts. Um, just super annoying to deal with. And, like, Compulsory was limited in stuff, too, or something. I think Compulsory is limited in this format. Maybe. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, which is whack as shit because Torrential was at two, remember? <laughs> Torrential's at two, but we just have one Compulse. Can you imagine that shit? All right, so they have a bunch of Exceeds we got to deal with. We drop the BLS, and then I think this guy's, like, a Negate. Okay, yeah, it's it's just like a negate, but it doesn't destroy. Wait, why did it get banished? Oh, can it not negate? What, what does this do? I'm going to have to read this card. Detach. Oh, this thing is not a quick effect. Why did they just... They tried to use it like it was a quick effect. I don't I don't know. Whatever. It just gets banished by BLS. They're going to mind con. We can Valor the BLS, though. Which means... Okay, they didn't try to get rid of the BLS anyway, but no matter what, this means the that we're just getting the BLS back. So they have to kill us this turn. But I don't think they can through Raiko. It'll just kill... Oh, they're short, on, they're short of lethal here. Oh, no, wait, they have Sphere. Okay. Would we have lived if we had just killed the other? Uh, I don't know. We're going to go Tour Guide into Tour Guide into Zen Mains and go set Lance. Okay. They're just going to search this thing, and then the marksman will pick off our back row. We're going to lance their guy. Probably maybe even shouldn't have set that. Should have just held it in our hand because of that, that pesky uh, that pesky spot removal. So we're just going to go charge set of Raikou. They're going to bring out Abyss Linda and search for whatever this guy does. I don't, I don't remember what half the mermails do, honestly. I do know that we have Max C here, so... Yeah, this is... um. They're either going to kill us, but I don't think they're going to kill us. There's, like, no way, right? You know, they're just not even going to hit into the Zen mains. Not even going to bother with it. We're going to Trooper. How many darks do we have? Not enough for Dad, but we can drop a Light Pulsar or something. Oh, and we're going to drop the Dark Fire instead to send the Red Mid. How many darks? No, we're still only on one dark. Dang. Can we... No, we're just going to run stuff over. Okay. Well, we have another Maxi, so it's like we're so fine. Um, Diva, yep, there's the other one. And uh, unlike in modern, there's like no counterplay to Maxi whatsoever. Uh, you get Maxi, you just kind of have to stop. But also, unlike modern, it's okay to like pass your turn in a lot of situations. So I guess that's the sort of neat thing about this era. We're going to dark hole ourselves and them, to be fair. Uh, get a draw off card trooper. We're trying Night Assailant. This is the funny copium you had to play when Tour Guide was limited or semi limited um, to make like the math work there. Because I think, was Sangan? Sangan was still legal, right? Or maybe it wasn't. When did Sangan get banned, actually? I totally forget that. I totally, there's so much I don't remember. We're going to drop another Dark Flare. And we're just going to run stuff over. Okay. And then, oh. We get a Zen Maiden's Oh, yeah, because we Dark Hold. All right, so they go for Goldfish, but we have Valor. We just have all the hand traps at the right time here. Now we drop Dark Arm Dragon. They're probably going to live, though, because we have, um, because they have Gores. So, when do they drop this thing? It's going to get taken out by the dad anyway, so we might as well drop it early to avoid damage or something. And that is what it looks like they're going to do. Can they make some kind of comeback play here? We got a lot of stuff that is annoying to deal with. No, they just, they're, they're just scooping it up. Okay. This is fun to watch because I, I have to, like, process what's going on. I'm, like... It's not like Edison where I have semi-encyclopedic knowledge of everything. Like, I, I played it this time, but I forget a lot of this. It was, it was like, literally 12 years ago. What do you want from me? 
Man, the Max C again, though. We just keep drawing Max C against this poor Mermail player. And, yeah, they, they pop our set lands in. Why do we keep setting this thing? We had a Gores, too. All right, well, here comes Diva number two. We drop BLS. Bro, oh, my God. Oh, my. He's coming again. They could actually clear our, our um, Zen mains with Cataster because it destroys it twice. Now we drop Gores, though. We're going to recharge, draw two, mill two. Max C going to be randomly dropped at this point, but we're still going to BLS and then attack. Holding the MST is pretty smart here because of the uh, the sphere. Yeah, you just chain it to the sphere. Now, this does mean they're going to get to drop Gores, though. Uh, I'm not sure it super matters, though, because it doesn't actually... Well, it's going to kill some of our stuff. But they need to out this BLS. The BLS is the, the big boy. He's the problem. He's just a massive mistake, actually. I don't know why they unbanned this thing so early. They shouldn't have unbanned BLS to, like, 2014 or something. I didn't... Yeah, it was just... Uh... It was too, too... He came back in, like, 2011. It was crazy. Crazy. All right, Torrential gonna sort of low-key blow us out here. But not really, because we have so much stuff. Yeah, it's just it's just over. It's over for them. Mermail player destroyed. All right, so that was that was that Meadowlands game. Very fun, very exciting stuff. And that is the, uh, the final replay for today. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments section. I will see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.